Ooh, headshot. Don't you just love sitting up somewhere high, probably with a crossbow and just sniping zombies? I, I don't know. For me, it's just super, super satisfying. But welcome, Survivor. The stealth update has dropped to experimental for seven days to die. And we finally actually got a significant update to the stealth mechanic in the game. I would say long overdue. For veteran players, you know that the game back in the old days had a lot more focus on stealth. Zombies were plentiful, weapon and armor were scarce, food would smell and attract zombies, so keeping stealthy while exploring was a lot more important. Not so for 1.07 days to die, regretfully. Still, a lot of players have expressed frustration with stealth being less and less useful, and I think the changes this update brings will be very welcome. Let's dive into it, this is 1.1 Experimental B14. First, player stealth meter is green when no large entities are near, otherwise it turns yellow. So you see, I am currently green. Let's see if I can trigger something that goes yellow can i get him to or her actually in this case get yellow oh i'm assuming that if she sees me ah okay yes which means that i have been detected so now you can actually tell when you've been detected uh which actually should be really useful see if i can break her detection here ah now i'm undetected again i mean maybe she'll still move over here nope she can't see me which well poor eyesight oh poor lady you probably need some sunnies. I mean sunnies, what I'm talking about. Uh, regular glasses. Prescription glasses. And so do I, apparently. Now, she's going towards where she thinks I was, and there's actually... Come on, this is embarrassing. Okay, all right, all right, okay. So I, I guess I can... Just three or four arrows or bolts, and yeah. Anyway, anyway let's, uh, let, let's move on here. And we also have stealth is less affected by a player movement and ramps up over time, which presumably means that it starts up slower, so even as you move around... Actually, it doesn't seem to make any changes. Uh, maybe because I'm stealthy? It doesn't seem to make any difference. What I did notice though, something really weird, and this probably has to do with some of the actual uh, From the Shadows, potentially these ones. What you notice here, is I'm stealthing and I'm walking now. I'm just walking, 32. Now, if I start running, my stealth goes down, or rather increases, meaning that I'm more stealthy running than I am just walking. The speed is pretty much the same, though. It's really weird, though. You see, it has that run icon because I am actually shift and running now, moving, and now I'm not. It's really weird. So it's, it's more quiet to run than it is to not run. I, I don't think that's necessarily intended it's really weird probably because of a byproduct of how the different oh, come on am i really missing it that's I, I should edit all this out come on okay at, at, le at least that one gone we have increased sight and hearing for bears and dire wolves not bears but bears this was really needed as you could get way too close right now and they would not aggro it's like 10 50 meters and they wouldn't know you're there i mean come on don't they smell you but as a bonus this will kill our favorite capsio zero even more go check out his videos apparently he has them on his doorsteps of his space all the time the assassin and rogue sneak is more effective again i think this was needed I think that sneaking was not really as powerful as some of the other outfit bonuses. So I think this really helps. We have the reduced distance from and the radius that the AI will pick to investigate near the target. Now, I believe this is where the AI sort of, or the zombie in this case, or the bear or the dire wolf, sort of know where you are. So they're going towards an area to investigate, sort of like the zombie was doing just now. She was coming here and... She knew that something was over here because that's the last she heard of me. So she was moving to this area. Previously, this area was maybe too big, meaning that she could get lost. Now they've reduced that. So she's more likely to end up where the player was. And I think that was good. They have been balancing the world and block ambient light as far as it impacts stealth, which is good. Stealth effectiveness for the perks armor light levels. Again, this is something that does need to be balanced as you're messing around with how effective stealth is. They have improved the st stealth UI to be twice as sensitive to light, half to sound, and rounding off. Presumably, this means that light 
impacts the zombie detecting the player more sound a little bit less. I hopefully it's not just a UI. I, I have to say though, I do oh, I shouldn't do that. I do like that it's green and yellow. I think that really helps because I at least me personally before had some issues before where I couldn't necessarily tell I can tell I missed. I couldn't necessarily tell whether I was detected or not before. They've done a balance on the stealth enemy search duration reduction from perks and armor. And you'll see that on, I believe it's here, for instance. Enemy search will be 20 seconds, 25, 30, 40, and 50. And I think the default is 60 seconds. So it's a little bit of balancing on these. The AI alert timer now has a random variation. I think that is good because it shouldn't be too predictable. It should be, you should sort of know that, yeah, it's not going to be five minutes that the zombie is going to look for you, but you should know exactly this is 20 seconds. So once you hit 20, you're good to go. It should be a lot more random. Overall, hopefully this makes stealth a little bit more viable in the zombie apocalypse. For those of you who play stealth builds, let me know what your thoughts are of all these changes. Let me see if I can. There we go. She didn't wake up and oh, well, now she never will. But if you play stealth a lot before, let me know. Does it help you? How does it play out in your game? What else is needed? Personally, I would really love to have that smell attracting zombies come back to the game because I really thought that was an awesome mechanic. I'm really sad that they removed that because it was it was nice in the sense that you had to be careful about carrying around a lot of food because the zombies would be attracted to it. And I think this sort of makes sense in a zombie apocalypse. As far as other changes, always a lot of things. There's some POIs, there's sounds and the like. One thing that I personally notice is they can't set force to craft max quantity with advanced engineering perk. This perk basically reduces the quantity of the resources to craft things. This also meant that when you did a craft all and in the forge for instance it would basically not take that into account so you would craft all and there would still be resources left in your inventory or inside the forge in that case and then you would have to craft again and again and this fixes it, it was really annoying it wasn't a big deal but it was annoying to craft and then have to recraft because it just wasn't selecting everything another welcome change is the fix of the solar cell quantity and quality getting clamped incorrectly in trader inventories some people who were relying on solar cells were finding it really hard. Oh, I'm really sneaking around here pretty good. See if I can make it all the way. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so satisfying. Some people who were looking for solar cells found it really frustrating because you just could not find them at the traders at, at a enough of a quantity and the quality was not good. Hopefully this fixes that. As sir, wait for the update to go stable and that will help your solar cell hunt. It's good to have an update. I would still love to see the content drops, but one thing I really want them to see is that huge drone bug being fixed. There's a lot of people who complain to me in my videos where they have a drone, it vanishes or is lost and that drone fix command, the help JD, JD help, help, like this. You're supposed to be able to do a JD clear and it should clear your junk drone linkage so that you can put out a new drone in case it's really being lost, etc. There is some bugs out there, which basically means even JD clear will throw an exception, probably because some kind of corruption on your character. So you're not able to even fix it. You cannot use a drone again. And the only permanent fix I've actually found is to wipe your character, which is obviously not a fix. I mean partially to fix. It's a really bad and really annoying fix. I've done that on my multiplayer server. So hopefully they actually fix that one because that one is a huge problem right now. Please fun pimps, fix it. But hope to see this patch move from experimental to stable next week. And I'm gonna continue slowly making my way through here and nope, not gonna go in there. Still really weird. It's more stealthy to run around than it is to walk slowly i i don't know how that works oh don't duck don't duck there we go just die just die already and oh 8.6 sneak damage bonus nice that probably brings me up to let's see how much would that be well that would be a pretty good uncle. i did a power attack because i did a right click so 
8 times 6, and we're talking about more than probably 500 damage. Nice. See you next time.